Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the advanced COUNTIF function. COUNTIF function is used to count data based on a specific condition that we specify. Or it is used to count how often a value is repeated in a set of data, or how many times a value is repeated in a set of data. For example, in this set of data, we have employee ID, we have the last name, the first name of the employee, the gender, the age, the department, location, and finally we have the salary. I want to use county function in order to know, in order to find out how many male employees do we have in this set of data. As you can see, if I click on male, if I select the male, uh, and automatically the if fun county function works. If I change the female to male, automatically the county function works and we have 16 male employees in this organization. Additionally, if I, uh, if I want to know how many of the employees have their salary more than $500, and you can find that there are 36 employees whose salary is more than $500. If I change to, for example, $800, automatically the county function works. It means 18 employees have their salary more than $800. Additionally, if I want to know how many employees have their age greater than 50, or the age of how many employee is greater or more than 20 years old, automatically the county function works. Okay, now I'm going to remove the formula and set of data and start from scratch. Here I'm going to search for from gender for the male. I want to know how many male employees do we have in this set of data. Uh, from your keyboard write equal then count if. Press the tab and the range. Range is the set of data that we want to count our criteria or our specific value. Because I, I want to find about the gender, so I'm going to select the gender column. If you press the Ctrl Shift arrow key down, it will select the entire column. Now the comma should be there and the criteria. Criteria is the value that I'm going to specifically look for. So here I want to search for the male. If you are writing manually, you should write uh, between the double quotation. If you want to choose from any cell, so you do you have to only select the cell. So now close the bracket. There are about 16 employees in this organization. Now, if I want to change the male to female, automatically the county function works. So now instead of writing every time the male or female, I want to use the drop down list. So now let's go to the data tab from uh, data tab, go to the data wall edition and from any values, choose the list and here write the male and female. Now we have drop down list and instead of writing every time you only have to choose male or female. The county function automatically works. Excellent. If you choose male there are about 16 male employees in this organization. If you choose female there are about 21 employees in this organization. So let's go for salary. This time I directly go to the data wall edition. And from data wall edition, I want to select the uh, the list here about the salary. I want to write, know about how many employees have their salary more than uh, $500, greater than uh, $600, greater than $700 greater than $800 and finally greater than $900. Okay, now we have our 
drop down list and we are going to use in county formula so here i want to use the county formula equal from your keyboard county then because here i want to find my criteria from the salary range so my range will be the monthly salary now select the comma and criteria criteria you have to choose this search for because we have already our drop down list choose this one and close the bracket excellent now this is zero because we have not selected any criteria how many employees have their salary greater than 500 36 the salary of how many employees are greater than 900 11 employees excellent great now i want to create a drop down list for age the age of how many employee is greater than 20 greater than 30 then 40 and 50 so i want to first of all i want to create a drop down list again choose the list here right greater than 20 greater than 30 greater than 40 and finally greater than 50 so of course you can specify any other condition here but i want to know about only this uh, four range of the age now we have our range 20 use the count if function equal count if function and the range is the uh, column age okay i have written the comma now choose the criteria criteria is the cell here the cell age which is 20 i'm going to select this one because i have already uh, created a drop down list close the bracket and enter excellent 34 employees have their age more than 20 if i select more than 30 the age of 21 employees are more than 30. If you want to specify any other condition, again, you have to go to the data validation and from here data validation, you can insert any other condition or remove one of the condition, then press the OK. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it was useful for you.